Hello, everyone, and welcome to the campaign finale of New Pantheon Academia. I'm your headmaster, your bald bitch, your fun gay uncle, Stephen Pope. I am stressed. I and you am... nearly killed I'm CB. Now I am stressed. He said, I'm your gay uncle, your bald, your bald bitch. bitch. <laughs> I know my brand and I know what I am. I know what I am. And what I am is very excited to present this uh, grand finale to you all. This Come has on, been an man. amazing campaign and I'm so excited to see. I'm very sad, but very excited to see uh, how our finale is going to go. Uh I'm not going to do the I'm not going to do my usual spiel. I'll save it for a moment, but let's throw it over to the one, the only uh, Broadway's next superstar. They just don't know it yet. Omega Jones, Critical Bard. I think they you mean Aki. Oh, take it away, Aki. <laughs> well, what if y'all just introduce <laughs> yeah. yourselves? Hop. I'm Aki. <laughs> I play Manny. <laughs> uh, we both go by name and pronouns, and we're both super nervous about what's going to happen today, but we're going to go up against Satan, and hopefully we're going to win. Um, as for future Broadway stars that you just don't know it yet, sure. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'll take it. It's in the cards. So Wait, am I gonna have to introduce Aki now and then you're gonna steal it? No, you're gonna introduce Aki and then uh Mika's gonna steal it. This is how it's working now. Like, it, oh, it's... I hate this game. Great. You're welcome. Um <laughs> <laughs> Next up, they're one of the smartest people I know. We're going to throw it over to Aki. And by Aki, I mean Mika. No, you mean Eric, actually. I yeah, hate this game! Hate me, Eric. <laughs> hey everyone. <laughs> I'm Eric. Uh, I'm playing Lennox Snatcher. I hate uh, this game. Uh, former football captain, uh, current uh, possessor of Ninkasi and Camarusepa, uh, and, uh, you know, just all around good dude. Oh, yeah, I have Ma'at and Quetzalcoatl. <laughs> They're great. We're picking the best time to harass the GM. Yeah. Yep. You no, know, it's not like I'm stressed. It's not what like are that's you going to do? Fire us? Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, what are you going to do? You so Kill us in the out. series finale? Oh, don't tempt me. Oh, next up, they're incredibly funny. It's mostly Eric. I don't know who wants that one. Hi, my name is Omega Jones, also known as the <laughs> Critical Bard. Critical Bard across all social media channels. I'm an active vocalist, tabletop professional, hot mess incarnate, uh, a jack of all trades, master of three of them. And I am playing Kawame and Yimi uh, for. Perhaps the actually yes the final time because I'm the GM for the other thing. Yeah. <laughs> so for the final time, for now I am playing Kawame, who is connected to Anansi on his left shoulder, the West African spider trickster god of stories, and Abaddon, the archangel of destruction, on the other shoulder. Uh, that's me. Make it just do the damn thing. <laughs> I think it's time for you to introduce yourself, Stephen. Yeah, who are you, Stephen? And now you go? I'm confused by this game. <laughs> I don't like it. Who are you? I'm a bald bitch. <laughs> I'm a fun gay Hi, uncle. I'm a bald bitch, Mika. <laughs> you are not my fun gay uncle. You are not the professional hobbit. I play the gay uncle, um, <laughs> Dolly Wingrove. <laughs> Dolly would make a great gay uncle. It's true, actually. They actually He's also the funniest person I know. Uh, <laughs> have it's Persephone and Brigid, um, and I do have the range. I could. Uh, Dolly has the range to play everyone at this table. <laughs> Mika, I don't know. Jury's out, but Dahlia, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Vault. All right. Well, we love you very much, Stephen. Uh-huh. I'm sure you do. I'm <laughs> sure you do. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in today. It's a very, very big episode. I, I've i never had a campaign run this long on Saving Throw Show, uh, so it means a lot to have, you know, my table here and have you guys watching. It's, you know, it's, yeah, I'm not going to get too sappy on you. I am going to send some love to our sponsor, Hero Forge where you can create and build beautiful 3D printed uh, 
minis for your RPG, or you can use them like we do here on the show and make beautiful portraits for your character. Below me on the screen, you can see some we've made, and also we use them as references throughout the throughout the campaign. It's great. We love it. Thank you very much for your help uh, for the season, Hero Forge. Uh, we also want to send some love to our friends over at Die Hard Dice. Um, you need math rocks, all right? You need them. You might think, oh, I have a set. Doesn't matter. Eventually, you're going to find that D20 doesn't love you anymore, and you're going to want a new one. Do you have a set that looks like beautiful dragon scales? Because you can get those at Die Hard Dice. They're mm -hmm. beautiful. Look that was that. a great plug. That is a good plug. And it uh, looks like someone is hunting for something right now. Shut up. <laughs> I was like, do I... I I'm letting I'm letting him go. I'm letting him go. I know we have dead air, but I'm letting this happen. I'm, I'm gonna see if I have this set on me. Come on. <laughs> I'm see if I have this set on me. No. While he hunts for that, uh, if you use uh, the code Saving Throw Twenty Two at checkout, you get ten percent off your order at Die Hard Dice. Uh, if you are live with us in the chat right now, just put exclamation point D H D uh, for links and info. And hey, if you want your own custom miniature or reference image, uh, exclamation point Hero Forge, all one word. And you could check that out as well. And hey, if you're listening to us as a podcast, if you're watching us on YouTube, thank you. Thank you for going on this whole journey with us. We love you. We appreciate you. Like, it means the world to us. Like, these shows, we love doing them live, but they really find their traction through the podcast and the VODs. So thank you for that. Um, just remember, you know the drill. You've been on YouTube before. You've listened to a podcast. Like, comment, subscribe. It means the world to us. Um, and hey, if we make you laugh, make you cry, we take subscriptions through Kofi. Uh, that's that's K-O-F-I. And if you are live in the chat, it's exclamation point K-O-F-I. Uh, you can tip like you normally would. Uh, but you can also join the Exploration Society with a monthly amount. It's just like our Patreon, but you can unlock things like Toast. Uh, so, yeah, it's great. Um, one last thing before we dive into what happened last week. Uh, we try to raise about $150 an episode. It keeps the lights on, so to speak. It keeps the show going. Uh, I'm going to do something Again, last week I had it so every $15 was a reroll. We're keeping that this week. Every $15 gets a reroll for the table. But if we hit 150 full refresh for the table, and by that I mean everyone heals uh, their health, everyone heals their uh, AP. So they're going to need it is all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, and if we reach 500... Uh, what should happen if we reach 500, everyone? If we reach $500? Yeah, if we get 500 in tips, what should happen? Jeez Louise, I don't know. Um, That's a lot of money. Mm. Feeling we should give them something big in exchange for all of that money. Yeah, it's a, it's a big one. I was going to say everyone gets a wish spell and gets to help create the new universe, but then someone poo-pooed that idea, so we're moving past that. Okay, first of all, attitude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I burned it. Oh, um, all right, ball bitch. Thank you. <laughs> My brand. Um, I don't know. I don't know about a wish spell necessarily. Um, I like the idea of maybe all of us getting like an extra turn during our round or something like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Mm. Uh. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I I feel like it needs to be. I'm not watching two anime episodes. Uh, I'm already doing one. <laughs> I don't we get know. we can get Eric to run a game for us. Yeah, I think it needs to be something outside of the game, like running. I don't know. I don't know something. Maybe like a vampire game or a kids on bikes game or a Call of Cthulhu game. Something that's with we'll these characters or something or something like that. So exactly. We'll we'll figure it out. How about um, this? Figure it out. How about There's, this? Yeah. If we reach 500, 
Anime 5E. What is that? It is Why anime? <laughs> anime 5E. Because this is the anime-inspired show here on Saving Throw Show. So, mm -hmm. yes, we'll do Anime 5E, and we will do a Magical Girl special. Okay. <laughs> Fun. Everyone's car... Everyone Sailor Moon. Everyone is just Sailor. Are we I, are we piloting it like Power Rangers or are we piloting it Sailor like Pacific Mars? Rim? Oh wait, no, I got it. We'll play a game of oh. everyone is John, but we'll play it as Sailor Moon. <laughs> Great. I'm scared. <laughs> no, here, here's my pitch. Everyone is Tuxedo Mask. Oh, that's oh. hilarious. All right. Dog, my job here is done. That. <laughs> but, <laughs> Wait, did CB, did you just veto the the No the dog vetoed it? You heard him. <laughs> <laughs> well, thankfully dogs can't vote. So sure. All right, five hundred, we play a game of everyone's tuxedo mask. And trust me, it will be funny and we will appreciate it. So last time on New Pantheon Academia. The four of you we're greeted with a world ripping itself from the seams. Okay. The sky filled dope, with dope, the dope. spiraling cosmos. Uh, and you found out that many people in this reality were props. No way. <laughs> Forced to kind of deal with this nightmare. Uh, you all have to, you all made the decision to bring in a new friend, mm. Gabriel. Mm. Okay, seriously, what's so goddamn funny, please? I just accidentally responded verbally, and then <laughs> Eric and I just took it random. We just started responding. doing a bit where we're, where we're, like, surprised by all the information. No <laughs> way. You're terrible. You're terrible. We're in another oh. reality? Oh, gosh. Uh, wow, oh, that's, God. that's wild. Wild. What else? Well, Quentin, Lenny's <gasps> brother, was given the power of, of Gabriel. Uh, so now you have another ally. And better yet, Dr. Ash had broken through the barriers between the worlds and had come to, well, have a big damn hero moment, which would have been great, except Ari Scratch dropped the facade, went full demon mode, and stabbed him with a giant fucking spear. Ouch. Now, Kwame, uh, you were told under no uncertain terms by uh, Anansi, he can fix this, but he's mm -hmm. going to need time. Mm -hmm. I had you all roll initiative last week, and mm -hmm. now we begin. I don't know what I'm... Oh, we have it right here. Yeah, like, so what is right our Save it right here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have it, sorry. Horrible, horrible. We... This is the worst thing we could have done. <laughs> it, it, it was the same initiative uh, that we did last time, basically, with rerolls and everything. As Ari, as Ari Scratch drops the facade of humanity around him, you see magma-like skin bubble to the surface, yeah. uh, black and red eyes, uh, and it is beautiful and horrible to behold in equal measure. Fine. You're all pissed about my gift. You don't have to take it. Great. But you're not allowed in my reality anymore. And he is going to go after... Actually, he's not stupid. He's going after Kwame. Damn it. <laughs> this tracks! This tracks! Uh, drawing a uh, sword of fire, he stabs at you uh, with a 14. That definitely hits. It does. It yep. does. Yep. It does. It does hit. Um, go ahead and roll your defense. He rolled a 16. Kwame's out. Kwame's down already. Oh, he's out. You are the devil, and I have 12 HP. <laughs> you know, I, but honestly, this tracks. This tracks this is great. hardcore. 
It's not All saying right, that yeah. Kwame is the strongest, but Kwame's ability right now makes him valuable. Take him out. He's out. All right, let's go. Let's freaking do this. All right. Now, Manny and Lenny, you both roll the same for initiative, meaning you will act on the same turn. Uh, you decide who will take the first action, though. Uh, after you, good sir. Yeah, the Lenny's gonna run over, uh, and he's gonna he's gonna heal his man. All right, his man. <laughs> his man. <laughs> Roll me. Uh, What's higher for you, intelligence or charisma? Ooh, probably intelligence. Uh, let me do it. Yeah. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll me intelligence and power and spend one AP point. Yes, I will do that. Well, I am. 11. Great. Uh, Kwame, you heal for 11. <gasps> so the sword stabs through you and immediately cauterizes and then lenny is just right there with the heel it hurts like a motherfucker but <gasps> you are not dead which is uh, oh thanks babe uh... manny it's uh your turn yep i think i have switched back over to my aunt at this point and i am going to enact uh her second ability which is the disp dispensation of justice. And I draw the oxygen uh, from the room around Ari uh, in order to, you know, do a little suffocate. That's a little suffocate. A little, a little suffocate. suffocate. A little suffocate. As All a right. treat. Yeah, um, go ahead and make this range intelligence. My worst stats. Here we go. Ten. Hmm. Uh, you get the bubble around where his head is, and he just drops. Uh, and you, you hear the pop as you remove the air from the area, but he is not in it to be harmed. Uh, next up is Kwame and Dahlia. Dahlia, you can go. I, uh, I am getting up from being stabbed. <laughs> um, hmm. I think I still have Brigid out. I believe you were uh, channeling her at the time. Yeah. I am going to... I'm going to use defense manipulation. And uh, I'd like to throw up some kind of invisible shield between us so we can get our bearings again, recover a bit before the next time starts. All right. Uh, go ahead and give me a uh, defense and strength roll. Ten. All right. Uh, we are going to go ahead and give all of you barrier five. Uh, so any damage he does will be negative five towards the four of you. Mm. Wonderful. Uh, gotta keep throwing these up. <laughs> yes. Uh, like in that same in that same vein, uh, I'm just thinking, trying to think how to word it. Um, let me let me ask this first. Since um, since Anansi is tending to um, uh, Doctor Ash, does that mean it's like I, sh I I'm not able to access his power right now? I will. Uh, so. Here's what Anansi does on your turn, Kwame. So you see Anansi uh, throw together what looks like a tiny, incredibly marketable, plush version of him. And he puts a little nurse's hat on it. You, go heal. Okay, I go, I go do that. Uh, what are you going to do? What do you think I'm going to fucking do? Okay, don't, don't have to yell at me. Right uh, two Anansis right now. Yes. Anansi <laughs> is going to throw uh, the other Anansi at Dr. Ash, uh, who still has the giant Evangelion spear through him. Um, Anansi, I choose you. Pretty much. Uh, Anansi appears on your shoulder. Okay, yeah, that's going to take a second, but I'm here. What do you need? Okay. Um, then, sorry, I'm, I'm really trying to think about how to word this because she just gave us defense. And I kind of want to do the same thing, but not defensive. I want to um, create some web 
um, that will. This is what I want to do. Okay. Um, Dahlia made a barrier between us. So if he hits us, if he hits us, um, then the damage is reduced. I want to create a web um, that makes it harder for him to penetrate to begin with. So it's not about reducing damage. It's making it harder for him to even hit. Mm -hmm. I think I think I understand what you're saying. Okay. Because like I'm, I'm thinking like the stickiness of the web is hard to actually get through. Um, so I'm just trying to form something around, maybe like around his um, his sword or whatever. So like he actually has to break through a certain thing to actually even hit us to begin with. All right. All right. Uh, this sounds like it's going to be an intelligence and defense role. Yeah, that's right. 13. Whoa, that was almost max <laughs> <laughs> for me. Oh. <laughs> Well, we don't have any rerolls just yet, but uh, pretty damn close. Okay, uh, that is going to give him a condition. What do you want to call this condition? Webbed up? Sticky, webbed, um, Peter Parker. Peter Parker, six. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he now has Peter Parker, six. If he rolls uh, below a six, he has to watch his uncle die. Uh, <laughs> yes, he has to be in yet another reboot. Um, no, if he rolls, he below has to go to high school again. Again. <laughs> if he rolls uh, below a six, uh, one of his dice will step down. Cool. Um, which is very useful. I'm also going to say he's going to take a negative three on his two hits. Bet. Sounds good. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Hell yeah. All right. Next up is Kim. And I'm just uh, gonna say, I'm just gonna say, as I as as I, as I ask her not to do that, I'll just like get up and just like kiss Lenny on the cheek. Like we're not dying. Well, I just almost did, but we're not dying forever. I uh, mean, eventually everyone focus. dies. But I understand your what you're okay, trying not to that, say. Not right now. <laughs> uh, Kim. <laughs> Uh, gets in front of both of you. I'm very much alive, and I intend to keep it that way. And she sends a flurry of feathers towards Ari. Uh, sadly, she does not hit. We love an uh, angry Kim. <laughs> uh, from a distance, you see Nanako uh, with Izanami, and she is going to uh, tr she's going to send an army of death after him uh have we all seen the ring yes. yeah well ring or ringu either because okay. uh from izanami you just see a wave of dark-haired ghost girls oh. uh but they also, just a bunch of sadakos a tsunami of sadakos mm -hmm. if you will <laughs> uh but sadly she also misses uh but hey uh that's also tsunami no. So, uh, like, I got this thing in the back of my head. Uh, do I just, like, let it do its thing? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, you just cool. kind of, like, it's like, you know, you can't fight the river. You can only direct it. <laughs> oh, that's smart. Uh, Quentin, wings burst out of his back. Uh, his eyes start glowing. He is... Hovering, you hear horns again, and he is going to make a dive attack at our Ari Scratch. Caw -caw! <laughs> and that is not a hit. He rolled too low. Uh, <coughs> oh, 12 isn't a hit. Rip. Mm -hmm. But wow. hey, we have two more friends uh, who also had the same initiative. We have Loki and uh, your favorite bunny, Morpheus. We get everybody in this fight today. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Lo uh, Loki whip summons a chain and he whips it at the at Ari's head. And at the end of it, Morpheus rides rides it and he's going for a bunny kick. Mm. Jesus. They both miss. Uh, 
that takes us to the top of the order, and that was the end of round one. I'm going to be keeping track of this because I have important things planned. Don't mm -hmm. worry about it. It's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, Lenny. Seeing that you are able to heal, and also being Peter Parkered and uh, knowing there's a barrier, uh, eyes are on you, and mm -hmm. they're not happy. It's fine. That's a hit. Yeah. Ouch. All right, roll me defense since he's going going for a stab. Minus the five, he doesn't hit me. That is true. Minus five. Uh, however, that now removes the barrier from you, so it is still on Manny. Uh, it's Manny, Dahlia, and Kwame. But Lenny, the barrier protects you. I Very guess, good. I guess like the power of friendships, like just too heckin' good. So you should just like give up or whatever. And at that point, I'm going to use one of my cheats. Excuse me? Yeah, see, I was reading through this game. It's this little one called Dungeons and Dragons. I don't see it catching on. But it has this mechanic where basically, if they're super powerful, they can cheat. A few times. Not all the time, but a few times. Do you mean... I don't know if you mean legendary actions. Legendary actions, and I'm oh, not yes. happy about it. <laughs> oh, funny. I think a 12 hits Lenny. Go ahead and roll defense again, my friend. I actually hate. <laughs> All right. So that's, I take 11 damage. Yeesh. Yeah. 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 11, but you 11. rolled a five on your defense. Yeah, but he hit me for 14. <laughs> Oh no! So I guess it's I it's don't nine. Know. Nine? It's nine. Okay. Yeah. Nine. Math is hard. Math is hard. Is math. Listen, Lennox is not a mathematician. So neither and is neither is Eric. <laughs> Technically, neither neither is a uh, <coughs> uh, Manny, and certainly not me. But I know my t my nine my nines. I'm gay. I can't well. do math. When uh, it, what does it look like when it hits? Like, what does he hit Lenny with? Um, so he slices at you with the sword, and your barrier blocks it, <clears throat> and then he just goes in with his elbow right to the eye. Um, it hurts, uh, but you are still standing. Okay. According to the number, uh, floating by your head, at least. Yeah. I think Lenny's, like, a little trickle of blood is, like, going out. He's like, oh, so we're playing... Okay, we're playing tackle football. All right. Full contact. Yeah, All right. full contact. Manny and Lenny, it's your turn. Uh, may I go first this time? Yes, please. All right, swords out, shields out. Let's go. Go, baby. Let's see. Twelve won't hit. Twelve doesn't hit. Damn it! And just to remind everyone watching live, your tips, $15 gets a re-roll for the table. And they're gonna need them, because they haven't hit him once. Thanks for reminding us. <laughs> uh, Lenny? Huh, let's see. I'm not really in my fighting mode, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I don't want to spend the, the AP to switch and switch back, although I could. Um, Which mode are you in right now? I, I'm in. I'm in. I'm a healer mode. I'm in Camarusepa. You can oh. switch to Ninkasa for free. Yeah, it's a bonus action, and it does not cost an AP to do. Yeah, but then yeah, I have switch, to switch yeah, back yeah, later switch to back heal. And, yeah, 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 that is true. But we have. We, you're not the only healer, which is a good thing. So if we need sure. to switch up, we, I think can I, all of us have healing in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, I mean, my my main ability is healing. Is there a way I can, uh, even if it's not a super lot of healing, do like a, just a general like AOE to everyone to give everybody just a little bit? Give me intelligence range. I thought you'd never ask. 13. Hot diggity damn. Everyone heal for six. Let's go. I think it just I'm like back up to full. Yeah, I'm one I away think... from full. 
the smoke and like smoke billing from his eyes and stuff like that as he's bleeding and it just like wafts and like just like the the smell of incense like picks y'all back up a little bit oh you smell really good lenny oh thank you <laughs> hoppy <laughs> all right uh kwame and dahlia i'm gonna take um, this one okay you want to. Uh, i was just i was gonna do a like a support move you go so when, okay um dolly is gonna get really angry and stand up and then you can see something just like cross her face like oh oh brigid do you remember the nursery rhyme or not a nursery rhyme but the thing we'd say on the the schoolyard i'm rubber your glue whatever you say to me bounces off of me and sticks to you I want to use defense manipulation where it's defense reversal. So whatever he does to try to hit us, it actually bounces back and hits him for the same amount. So I'd like to put something on us that makes us rubber and him glue. All right. So that's very powerful. It is a, I'm going to call it creating a counter. Um, And that's, incredibly powerful i'm going to let you choose one person to put it on because uh okay it's just actually all right because my thought that it would be the same as like the defense five where it's minusing five from our hit where i roll and then it's a plus whatever to our hits against him Mm. but it's up to you okay i'm going to let you go ahead and Let's go ahead and roll this first before I make okay. my decision. I yeah, want yeah. you to roll me uh, defense and strength. Okay. Uh, do we have a reroll? <laughs> uh, Eric, do we have a reroll? Uh, we, <laughs> I mean, some we. I, I'm looking at this. I think we have one reroll. If if it was every fifteen. Uh, in that case, we have a reroll. Would you like to use it? Take it. That was bad. That was bad. I'm gonna manually roll this. (laughs) No, 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 no. no. Twelve. Okay, it's better. Much better. (laughs) Okay. Wow. All right. For twelve. (laughs) (laughs) That's how dirty it is. Like I want to do this cool thing for. Well, never mind. Well, never mind. (laughs) I'm just gonna gonna roll next time and then be like. Okay, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> For a 12, here's what I'm going to offer you. Here's my offer. Yeah. I will let you give someone uh, a status rubber 12. And I'm if he going... attacks them, he will attack with a negative 5 to hit, and he will take 12 damage. Great. I'm giving it to my person, Manny. All right. Oh, that makes sense. All right, Manny. When he attacks you, it... He will take 12 damage. Interesting. Yes. On... That's my best friend right there, y'all. And that's my best friend right there. Kick his ass! You Mommy? bet! <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Let me check one quick thing real quick. Because that is... Sorry. I was thinking a lot. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, after he attacks uh, Lenny and he has finally gotten back up, uh, he'll look at uh, he'll look at Anansi and say, "Just focus all of your energy on Doctor Ash. Uh, I trust you. Um, don't fuck it up, but I know you won't. Um, you are the master storyteller, not this." Mm. Um, and as he does, he as he as he looks back at Lucifer, he just smiles and goes, "Are you? How do you feel about family reunions?" And I instantly turn Inky as I um, uh, switch back to Abaddon. All right. You swap over to Abaddon. Um, spend the AP to do so. It's two uh, AP to switch. Yes. You are now... Uh, you now have the divinity of Abaddon. Uh, Ari, Lucifer, Satan, in many names, looks at you and his shoulders kind of slump and he kind of chuckles. He's like, oh boy. This is gonna be fun. That it will. We don't fucking like you right now. And I'm using my action Tear to, to um, activate um, 
uh, embodiment of the empty to give my my boost as I grow my horns and my wings. All right. Um, that is that. And that's all I can do right now. Because uh, that was my action to use my ability and I switched over with the bonus action. I'll actually fly right in front of him and just cross my arms. Fair mm. enough. All right. Uh, Kim is going to uh, do another feather barrage. Let's see if she can hit. A second barrage. Mm. No, the feathers go wide. Uh, Nanako will do her... We need uh, to do some debuffs on this guy. Actually, that's what Nanako is going to try to do. Nanako is going to uh, close her eyes, touch the earth, and you see a bunch of skeleton hands reach up and try to grab a hold of Ari. Ugh. I got an eight and a one. Funny that. Uh, so he now has uh, Peter Parker six, and he also now has uh, Skellington three. All right. Uh, next up, uh, the other Thatcher boy, uh, very, very mad that uh, this guy hit his brother, is going to come in for a swoop, and he, the sword goes wide. He's got like fourteen, I think, or thirteen. I think it's fourteen. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know. We haven't seen it yet, but it ain't twelve. We, we haven't hit it. <laughs> We have actually had no one tried to attack it. I mean, yep. and, and succeed yet. So I'm trying real hard. I'm coming. We up there. We up there. Mm -hmm. So that ends round two. Uh, we are now on. Well, no, that ended. Wait, that was not round two. Where's yes. the round? Yes, correct. We're at the top three. of round three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ari is looking directly into your eyes, Kwame. And he is going to use one of his super special powers. Super special powers. <laughs> That's what I'm you sound one. like, Steven. I know. I'm, a, I'm terrible. Yeah, uh, fuck this guy. Oh, I can't have a fair fight, so I'm going to cheat. Mm, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> that is a hit. Uh, okay, Guame. I need you to roll me charisma. It's, it's funny. The things I want, I I have to do. I always switch out of the uh, anima, out of the uh, divinity. Who's better at it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, charisma is is just your part. Your star. Oh, do the same on both sheets. No, they're not. So. Oh, oh, the the top star. It the top star on both sheets should be the same because that's not your um your divinity. It's you. Yeah. All right. Do, oh. do you have to fix that? Nah, I apparently I do. I think, <laughs> I apparently I do. That. I think you've got to yeah. fix that, dude. But that's uh, better. That's good to know. You rolled a one, and oh, well, the good news is we now have uh, not a not one versus crit. Yeah, the crit yeah. fail versus the crit succeed. Ay -ay -ay. Okay, Ay -ay -ay -ay. so technically we have. Thankfully, we have uh, three announcements and two more re rolls. So, oh, hallelujah. Use uh, every roll. Use it. I recommend it. Okay, yeah, hold on. I need to check. I need symptoms. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll reroll that with the actual 12. That's not, that's a 12 and not an 8. Not the entire campaign, just the last couple of uh, matches we played for sure. Yeah. There we go. Much, Much better. better. Okay. Uh, he <laughs> still rolled very high. Um, Kwame, you feel. You're used to having things in your head at this point. You have a Nazi in your head. You have, uh, your not venom in your head. Now you have the devil trying to weasel his way into your brain. Lose four AP. Great. I don't wanna. <laughs> Great. I don't yeah. like that. I don't yeah. like that at all. I mean, I oh, I love it, Steven. I love it. Use it more. Use it more. We're all bullies. Um, uh, okay. With that, we go to Manny and Lenny. Uh, you all see as 
he is staring into Abaddon Kwame's eyes, and it is uh, intense. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to try and hit him with my sword again. Like, that's 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 what I do. Uh, hopefully, I roll a little bit better this time. Okay, here we go. No! I want to hit this guy. Very yeah, much. how do you miss? Why do you miss? I mean, I think... I think the big problem for Manny is that they see how much havoc Ari is wreaking. <clears throat> and, like, every time they step in to do a swipe is just when Ari kind of moves away to kind of hit at one of their friends. Um, and... They've, they're trying really hard to draw aggro from him because that's their role as the defender, but just to, hasn't managed to actually hit him to get his attention. So I think that it's just c- kind of starting to get to them a little bit. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, but now, many went Lenny. Uh, yeah, I'm going to switch back to Ninkasi. I'm going to try and hit, hit this fool with, uh, with, with a water attack, I guess. Uh, intelligence range because I'm a wizard. Uh, boop. Six. That's not going to do it. That's a uh-uh. really piss poor roll. Uh, we do have we a do re-roll. Have one re-roll. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chance it because I could do way better than six. I know you can do this. You got No, this. I got I got one. I actually did. I didn't know I could do that poorly. I could have done <laughs> more poorly, but not by much. Um, literally by one you could do it yeah i could have done one one. i could have gotten a zero instead i got a one (laughs) wow that hurt yeah y'all please send us like your energy because we obviously really need it today like this is not going well no your energy and and also your your donations because if we hit 150 dollars we all get you know full ap and full hit points back and y'all Look at how we're doing today. They need it. Only, <laughs> only if you can afford it. But if, if you yeah, if you want to support the last show of this campaign and four or five amazing uh, role players and, and, and performers and more importantly, active creators who, who work, pay, oh, you, know, do, we, you know, hit, a, hit, a, hit, hit the coffee. coffee <laughs> hit the coffee. We need the help today. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so, Lenny, you... Aim, you fire, and it is just. Uh, I'm gonna blame it on the fact that he hit you in the eye. Yeah, I think I, I think he tries to do a real tight, like like cutting, like pressure beam, and he just he just he's still a little like he got thwacked in the head pretty hard. He's still a little woozy. As you do, um, I do love the idea that Lenny watches power washing videos, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Next up, Kwame and Dahlia. I went first last time. Uh, guess what I remember. So uh, for me, for uh, my assassin, it's death and speed minus two. And that's yes. and death and speed plus two to hit. Yes. Sorry, no, wait, wait. Which it's it is... minus two to hit plus two for damage. Got it. So with me right now, I had I had this wrong. I was trying to, I was confused. For, so for me, it won't be minus anything. Because oh. I have my embodiment of the empty. But it will be a plus four hit there we go <laughs> i mean for damage all right this makes more sense all right i'm gonna try to hit this foo um with my i'm gonna summon my void dagger and i actually think right now it wants to take the shape of a dagger but it takes the shape of a full just long sword that's curved um and it's uh probably one that abaddon him, themselves uses to just decimate because that's what they do um and they're gonna attempt to strike if it can hit Please hit. Nope. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. We don't have any re rolls. We don't have re rolls. I'm no, sorry. I wasted the last one. <laughs> Tartar sauce. Oh boy. Tartar sauce indeed. Uh, Mika, it's Dahlia's turn. It is Dahlia's turn. I want on record. Um, you guys have yet to hit him. We're we know. Stephen, we are. <laughs> that fact. Okay. We are desperately trying. His initiative is really high, and for some reason, we are not rolling well today. 
Oh, I usually really? roll. I roll like I'm cheating most of the time, so it's very. I surprising. usually roll really well, and this is frustrating. Is bad. A, and I gotta, I've gotta, I, I'm going to be transparent with y'all, because at, here at Bald Gay Hobbits, uh, we believe in transparency. Uh, like his initiative is not high. I, it's lower than a lot of the guys you faced. We're just, we're um, just bad right now. <laughs> I'm screaming. Yes. And by that I mean I'm using my Loki screech for the very first fucking time. Fuck yes. Okay. Um, so usually this would just be uh, charisma or uh, dexterity. But because this is special, I want you to use power and charisma. Do not spend an AP point. All right. I think my power and charisma is the same on both sheets. Wonderful. Channel that siren shit. Twelve. Mm -hmm. that we matter. keep getting twelves. Yeah, I don't think we've rolled higher than twelve. You have not. We haven't. I think you we've gotten not. one thirteen. Oh my god. I don't think we got a thirteen yet. You you did. Oh yeah, you you got a, you 13. Got a thirteen. But not to hit. Yeah, it didn't hit, but we got one. <laughs> don't let me phrase that. We didn't do a thirteen to attack him. We done thirteens for other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. Um, I, you know what? I'm gonna be nice. No, 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 no! no, no, no. I refuse. No, no. we would get no, this. This, this makes it better. This. <laughs> this is a this is a challenge, and we're going to we're let going it be to real. You think right. you think Goku? Fuck myself. You think okay, Goku great. just walks up to Frieza and punches him, and he's dead? No. No. You we gotta do Goku a whole turns... thirty minute um uh Super Saiyan transformation. <laughs> You really we think that be... Goku just walks up to Frieza and misses like eight hits and Frieza goes, oh, I'll let you get the next one. No. No, no he blows up the, the planet. <laughs> we spend Manic. eight episodes waiting. <laughs> We're right. going to be okay. Uh, Kim becomes one with the Phantom Queen. She becomes this half skeletal, half Valkyrie, uh, undead queen and it is fucking peak aesthetic but uh that is going to be her action for the turn uh she now has a condition that i will write down here uh hell on earth love that for her next up nanako is going to go she uh sends her uh tsunami of sadako's again and that is a miss You're Roll 20! <laughs> Roll 20 is just being fucking I'm, mean today. I'm like this close to just refreshing my page and hoping that helps. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. Uh, I think the ben, system's bugged. It doesn't roll higher than 13. Quentin, uh, his sword turns to a horn and borrowing what Dahlia just did, he's going to do a blast and it is nothing. Gabriel needs to needs to inspire us. He is the bard of the group right now. <laughs> inspire us. Give me some AP points back. <laughs> I wish. I wish. All right. Now it's time for our bunny chaos duo. All right, 2D 10 plus. Make sure that's right. Well, I'm so mad. Mm -hmm. I'm so fucking mad right now. Yeah. They're one shy. They're yep. one no! shy of a hit. I was hoping it was 13. It's 14. Dang it. Yeah, was... that's what I figured. I uh, uh, we don't have a reroll. Crap. All right. It's All okay. Right. If you rerolled it, it would be significantly worse. That That's generally Somehow. how it's going tonight. Yeah. Oh, you vault. Okay. Um, that is going to be the end of round three. Um, now... Kwame, because you sent Anansi to do something, I'm going to be speeding uh, this up a little bit. Don't worry about it. Ari's turn. Don't know. I, I, okay. All right. That does not oh, like that shit, please, Ari. Scary. Ari, seeing that uh, you have just been a pain in his ass, Manny, he's going to go after you. Oh, I mean... Uh, 13 hits, however, you have the barrier. I do. Yes. 
So he also uh, takes twelve damage from. He takes twelve damage mm -hmm. immediately for the rubber. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he is going to roll his damage minus five. So roll your defense. Okay. Mm, that's what I like to see. The barrier oh. shatters, and for the first time, something hurts him. Don't say it like that. I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> uh, for the first time! For the first time in forever! All right, next up, Manny and Lenny. Cool. After you. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try and hit him with some 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 beer and see how well that is gonna. No, wow, wow, what am I doing wow. today? I am. I'm. Is... I apologize, Chat. I'm usually so good at Dungeons and Dragons. I'm usually so good at it. Well, it's not Dungeons only. and Dragons. It's only. overarms. Yeah. So. This is. This is under legs right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> This is, yeah, that's the truth. this is all right. Well, here here goes literally nothing. Overarms is an un, is a Dungeons and Dragons. If you didn't know, <sighs> y'all y'all, we are out of. We are trying, and you're trying your best, and I'm rooting for you. We're all rooting for you, but this is. I rolled just, a, I rolled a twelve rolled a just 12. so that you're aware, chat, mm -hmm. of what I it was a twelve. I wish mine could be as 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 noble as a twelve. Um, far away from the battle, flying high above the clouds, we have some school announcements. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> we. Good evening, members of uh, the school North Point Academy that is currently falling into a vortex of uh, immense power. Uh, I don't know why, but they're still making me read these announcements. Uh, first up is from Five Foot Latina, who says, it's the end of the world as we know it, but I feel fine. Uh, seriously though, don't die. Uh, good words to live by. Uh, DJ Regular comes in and says, uh, North Point Academy has discovered that this semester's uh, advertising program was a long-term fraud campaign, and all parties involved are currently under federal investigation. All funds have been moved uh, to a fund to be managed by school administrator uh, Gladys uh, at her discretion. Don't ask too many questions. It's fine. You know, you don't got to worry about it. Everything's fine. Place, I'll take care of you. Anyways, that's announcements. I love the narrative DJ Regular has just built this entire goddamn season. <laughs> I love that. I love that. All right. We go back to combat. It is now Kwame and Dahlia's turn. Um, I'd like to... I'd like to take this one, Kwame. Dolly's going to try something a little different. Um, okay. All right. I'm going to switch over to Persephone. And Reaction. yeah, and I'm, I'm going to use her umberkinesis skill and basically make everything that Ari sees completely dark, except for a spotlight on Dahlia. Um, oh, can we actually almost combine our ideas? Because my I'm thought in. was to use my last AP point. Uh, Y'all, help. Um, to use my abyssal teleportation on Lucifer and okay. get him away for a while just so we can come together for a hot second, because right now he's just bearing down on us. Um, yeah. So if I my can... idea is to distract him somehow, I think that I think distraction is still good. But if he, even if he's far away and still only can focus on you, he yeah. has he, it's it's time. It's yeah. time. So yeah, my my thought was to drop a a a, a black hole underneath him and Great. send them to the other side of. Yeah, and uh, I want the the, the only right thing now. that he can like see or perceive to be Dahlia. It looks like she's on a stage about to do some spoken word, and she's gonna 
send them to an the accidental demi plane. And as she does this, she's pulling out her speech that Steven said that I could do last week. <laughs> All right. I will expect you to do the speech, though. I hope you know that this is uh, really goofy. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. All right. I love this idea. I think it's totally cool. Um, what I would like roles-wise, though, I would like Mika to roll first and then Kwame. Okay. That cool, CB? Um, what do you need me to roll for this? Oh, yeah. No, I should probably say that. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go ahead and make this uh, charisma power. Wait, what? Why is this? How did I? I am struggling right now. Charisma power. This should be an eight. Seven. I think. Wait, what is this? Is it... I don't like rolling with this little junction thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to say it works, but it's only going to work for two rounds. Yeah, my entire sheet was just wrong. <laughs> Hell of a time to figure that one out. All right. Uh, so the way I'm going to mechanically represent this is uh, Dahlia has a condition uh, target three. So okay. he's going to get three if he attacks you. Okay. And he is going to attack you. Perfect. But Kwame does get to send... Kwame's going to try to send him to the Shadow Realm real quick. So Perfect. let's see if he can pull that off. What would you like me to roll? I would like for you to roll... Uh, since you're trying to send him away, we're going to make this range. Mm -hmm. And since this is your kind of more thinky power i feel like it makes sense for this to be intelligence intelligence yeah i was thinking the same thing yeah i think that's uh, fair. no y'all my numbers were i had two fours i had two d4s on on skills and i'm like what y'all right how right. how how? Right. how okay i'm gonna make sure that's correct over here that's correct okay that's not correct though oh my god okay okay sorry <laughs> intelligence the stress, the stress in this studio right now. It's also a seven. Okay. But combined, that's a 14, so it works. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to say it does work because it's not. That is a attack. holy number being wielded against Satan. Mm hmm. Jewish, because yes, this. if this is a seven and this is also a seven, technically, when they combine, it's a cross. Yeah. And seven's a whole what number. What type of youth group pastor? The power of trip? Jesus says so. Is that you as Jesus on a candle? <laughs> yes. Omega, I have a million questions, and we don't have time for any of them right now. I, 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 um, boy, oh boy. Okay. All right. He is now 70 yards away. It is going to... His entire action next turn is going to be to fly at Dahlia. He still will not be able to see anything other than Dahlia until the end of round five. Sound okay. fair? Yep. Fantastic. I, I'm i sorry. I'm still reeling from the uh, critical bar Jesus candle. Where'd you even get that? Nope. No time. No time. Answer that later. Okay, so with him moved not very far away, but just far enough for you all to at least catch your breath, what are you going to do? I'm giving a speech. <laughs> I upped it. That makes sense now. Okay, this is correct. Sorry, continue. All right. <laughs> I was having a whole moment. Um, yeah, can... give, that, give us that speech. Yeah. Yeah, give us this. Yeah, what's that speech? Let me go ahead and get. Uh, wh what's the vibe for the speech, Mika? You um, wrote it. I want to make sure you had the proper. Subject. Well, I, I drew inspiration. I wouldn't say I wrote it. I would say I edited it. <laughs> Just uh, you know, inspirational. You have a you have a candle lit in Thank your you. inspiration. Would you light my candle? All right. <laughs> 
If there's okay. music on, I can't hear it in June. No, I'm that choosing. Way. And all right, Mika. This track is much more inspirational, but okay. <laughs> uh, um. Whoa. All right. Um. I. I put this together last minute, so I'm really sorry about this. Um. Also, I was. I was planning on giving a speech before Ari showed up, but I'm, I'm flustered. Um, okay. Good morning. In less than a minute, the devil will be showing up to attack us and keep not only this reality trapped, but also us trapped in this reality. Furthermore, we will be launching the largest battle in the history of the safety squad. Safety squad. That word has a meaning that is new for all of us today. We can't be consumed by our petty differences anymore. And she's going to look directly at Kwame. <clears throat> we, we will be united in our common interests. We are fighting for our right to live, to exist, and to return to our own reality. <clears throat> we will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We're gonna live on. We're gonna survive. And most importantly, we are gonna protect. And she's gonna wink at Manny. <laughs> Today, we're gonna be the motherfucking safety squad. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Add two to all your roles for the remainder of this session hell yeah hell that's what maybe i'm we'll get a 13. Oh, maybe we'll actually get some <laughs> we're gonna keep signing we're gonna, we gonna keep rolling 11s now all right <laughs> no don't jinx it with that uh speech said kim is going kim in this fucking rad monster lady form is going to strike at uh ari um, she can't he's gone she has a ranged weapon like a motherfucker, though. Okay, never mind. She can. I thought he was just in the shadow realm for a while. <laughs> oh, she hit. Damn. Damn. That's... She angry. Your that's inspiration great. worked. All right. <laughs> oh, it hits, but it doesn't hurt him. But it hit him. And that is a fucking win. And that's enough to get Nanako to try something a little different. Uh, she focuses everything on the dead for a moment. And you see demons rise from the cracks in the earth and from the heavens to go after him. And they're not demons the way you expect to see them. They're one-legged uh, hopping umbrellas. They're turtles with bulls in their heads. They are yokai. And she is summoning an army of them. And oh, it's another hit. Oh, we love to see it. I just want to point out that like both those would have been hits without your speech, but I don't think they would have happened without your speech because it gave us the motivation to do what we needed to do. Uh, she does eight <laughs> damage to what a journey Ari. I from that. Um, it is such a turnaround. Uh, Let's see. Next up, Quinn is going to go ahead and he is going to, well, he does a ranged attack as well. We're doing a blast here, folks. Roll. Blast. 10 plus 4. And he still fucking misses. Oh, so, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm still like, uh, still learning how to, you know, superhero stuff. Yeah. You're doing it's great. tough. It's like, it's heck tough. tough. It's, it's hella tough, I'd say. Like, it's oh. beyond hecka. Oh, wow. Beyond Hekka. Yeah, probably. Uh, let's see. Who? What's everyone's health at? 14. I'm at full. 23. Yeah. Health yeah. ain't the problem for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can we convert HP to AP? Uh, no, but Lenny, uh, Loki, <laughs> yes. Okay, I saw this on one of the sports programs, and he's Bakes your butt, and you heal for 16. Ah. Uh, thank you. His boyfriend's right there. <laughs> yes, but is that a... Why should I be concerned? Is this a thing I should be concerned about? Um, uh, I think 
Well, there's a lot of people who, uh, especially, uh, you know, people get jealous uh, of physical contact uh, and, you know. Oh, I was trying to replicate what I saw on the sports programs. I, oh, yeah. I I didn't feel like. I'm any... sorry. That's, I, that's there's nothing I... to there's nothing to be apologizing for. Oh, cool. Lovely. I am, oh, God, I'm not I'm a jealous you. individual, but I will. Never mind. You do not like Loki. Uh, oh, he does not like Loki. <laughs> but there's so much to like about him. Uh, all right, moving right along. Uh, it is now the end of round four. And you hear the both Anansis just go, done! In perfect unison. Uh, the spear cracks in two and uh, revealing that he is in really good shape for his age. Like you get to see the pecs and everything. Uh, Dr. Ash takes a deep breath as he is now joining you in the fight. Finally. Finally. <laughs> of course, the gays do the whole thing, but I appreciate it. All right. Uh, on his turn, we begin round five. Our Ari is flying directly towards you, Dahlia. This is all he's going to be able to do. Uh, he is taking both actions to just fly right at you. He is up in your grill, and you are probably going to be stabbed soon, but not this round. Manny and Lenny, it's your turn. Um, I'll try to, just, uh, to sort him. Uh, I'll try to sort him. He's trying to attack my best friend, and so I'm going to try and hit him. Ah! Yes! Yes! That's a hit! That's a hit! All right. Yes! All right. And then Manny oh. also gets a plus whatever, because I... Yeah, the plus yeah. two, so that was a 16 oh. to hit. Oh, and no, I because just... Manny, I oh. gave you stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. And I just realized he rolled under uh, his uh, Peter parker and a oh, he did. Mm -hmm. He's in yeah. high school. Yeah, he's in high school now. Uh, and his uncle just died. He's not the principal. He goes here. <laughs> All right. That lowers two <laughs> of his uh, dice. So he has gone from two D12s to, well, a couple D12s and a couple D10s. It's progress. And that's, that's 12 damage? I think, mm. I think it's 14 damage. Or it, is four, it, it is four. It is... It is 14 damage because you got the plus two uh, from uh, Dahlia's speech. Mm -hmm. It applies to both. I got to right So now. he takes three, sadly, because right. he rolled very hey. well in his defense, but still. I will take it. If we're gonna... I like slice up across his back with the sword as he's get it going in on, on um, Dahlia. Get the fuck away from her. He roars in pain. Uh, next up, Lenny. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a hit about it with some water. Uh, <laughs> no, even with that plus two. Come on, oh Lenny. Ah, uh, everyone was doing so well that I was like, this is my time. It is not. It's not Lenny's time. Has yet. Lenny ever hit anything with his pistol, his water yeah. pistol? Yeah, I. That's why I switched to it because usually, like, I'll do a hit and then crit and do like 27 damage or something. Like, I either don't hit or I decimate. All right. Um, next up, we have Kwame and Dahlia. If you have something in the barrel, go ahead and take it. If I can get literally one AP point. Okay. How about this? If we get another sub <laughs> or another uh tip for gladys to read i will give you uh one d10 ap points back okay okay do it now before my turn do it now before my turn i can Dahlia, i cannot Dahlia take go. a turn now yeah yeah let me take a turn <laughs> um is it is it still a free action to switch to yes. the second time uh, I'm actually at zero. No, no, no. I, you I've are already... Persephone going back to Brigitte. Are you yeah. Brigitte or Persephone right now? I'm Persephone. Okay, it costs two to switch back, but it is a uh, it's a bonus action, so don't worry about it. like 
movie. Right. Um, then I will switch back and <laughs> I'm I wanna play with this a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna use defense manipulation. Again. But I feel well, yeah, because but I like to use it in an offensive way because the best defense is a good offense. Mm -hmm. That is very confusing, but go on. Well, I'm manipulating it because I have defense manipulation. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like to make a shield that's in front of me, but that is paper thin and is facing him like the sharp side is facing him. So if he does try to attack me head on, it's invisible, but he is going to hit the shield on the very, very sharp edge of it. Which Ow. is a pretty good defense, if you ask me, because it's also an offense. Okay, all right. I want you to go ahead and roll me uh, defense intelligence, spend an AP point for it. Uh, we did just get a new sub, so uh, Kwame, yeah. roll a D10 and add that AP. If you roll, roll a one, I swear to God. And and a whole bunch of rerolls. You rolled a two. You rolled a two. <sighs> Hey, but I'll you have it. two. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll, I just needed one. I just needed one. Um, so it's it, int plus defense plus two. Yes. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. Um, similar to what you gave Manny earlier, Dahlia, you now have uh, what do you want to call it? Shield um, dash. No shield no. slice. Shield slice. All right. Shield slice 13. Wonderful. Uh, all right. When he attacks you, and it's an inevitability because of how you set this up, he is going to take 13 damage. Ow. Yes. Uh, also, thank you, Monstrosity Jones. Uh, because of that, we are only... Uh, let, hold up. Hold up. I can do math. I can do math. Uh, we are $45 away from reaching our goal for the episode and getting that full heal. But we now have four rerolls on the table. So thank you Hell for yeah. that. Ah, you love to see it. Okay. Uh, with that, we go to, uh, well. Me, it, me. Oh, yes, yes, it is your turn. Yep. Even though you rolled a the the. D10 and got a two. Does it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna regret asking this, but does Ari actually hit me? Wait, he hasn't tr tried to hit me yet, right? No, Ari Ari is like he basically hasn't gone Ari yet. was running up to you with the yeah. fire sword. Okay, got it. Yeah, he had to use his all of his action to get up to you first. So, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Once Anansi is done with um a Dr. Ash and Dr. Ash is back, I say, okay, Jade Emperor, do stuff. <laughs> um, and I look back at Ari uh and I whisper to Abaddon, I say, I know that's your brother, but I have to go back to my roots for a moment. And I'm going to switch back to Anansi, put on the fanged fist with one AP point, and punch the everlasting hell out of this man. Go for it. Because I don't apologize with a boost that you, uh, we have given from we have been given from the uh, inspiration plus my Loki ability. This is going to suck. Firstly, Art. this is actually a or no, of course. Oh no! Wait, 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 wait! It's a thirteen, and thirteen still doesn't hit. Dang it! Does not hit. Would you like well, we to get a reroll? Yes, I would love. Yeah, That's there you go. Better. That's how you do it. So this is actually a nineteen to hit. That will absolutely hit. Great. I will roll his defense. This is actually nineteen points of damage. I love that. All right. He takes 12 of that. Oh, great. Now I have to do more math. Uh, all right. He is now at... I I'm not going to tell you how much health he has left. That's fine. Yeah, just don't tell me. That. I won't tell I just want those fangs to just puncture his perfect face. I need to and he know just it. has like two holes in his face now. Just, just whisper it to me. I need to know it for like Twitch stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, he is going to use an epic action, a cheat, That's if you will. Uh, and he is going to immediately take the 13 damage from, uh, Dahlia. 
Let's see. Do, do, do. I hate doing math. I'm not good at it. Okay, I can comfortably tell you all he is bloodied uh, to steal a term from another game. But he is going to... Uh... That hits. Dahlia, I need you to roll defense. <laughs> okay. Do I still get a plus two on this? Uh, yes. Okay, wonderful. He said all. Uh, oh, I haven't rolled yet. <laughs> With seven. No, it's a five. It's five. I did a plus two already. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh. Take ten. Okay, cool. I'm also bloodied. <laughs> Ouch. To use a term from another game. Uh, yes, no. He is staring at you and... Dahlia, you... Da Dahlia's gonna... Uh, oh, <laughs> if, go. he, if he hits her, and she she's does. gonna, like, make a really dramatic, like, like she's getting <laughs> stage slapped and she's gonna slap her thigh. Yeah. <laughs> I love her so much. I, why is she <laughs> this is what, was. like, this is the thing. Dahlia would 100% been a girl I had a crush on in high school. Yeah. Like... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. As a little gay boy growing up in the odds, Dahlia would have been, like, the best friend. Um, but I am going to say, Dahlia, as he's staring at you, and, like, he hit you with the sword, and you feel the flames, like, flick your skin and the knife enter, it's just, oh, God, it hurts so fucking much. But the way he's looking at you, you remember the one time you looked into the doors of Oblivion, and you saw those eyes that had nothing in them but hate. And you remember, oh, yeah, that was him. Uh, now it is Dr. Gray's turn. Uh, and he is going to, uh, well. Can, can Dahlia say something to him as he's... As... Talking's a free action. Talking's a free action. Hey, just a heads up. Don't forget you're blocking. <laughs> I'm going to roll uh, Dr. Gray with a bonus now on top of the inspiration. <laughs> Because I think Ari's going to be very confused by that. Great. Right. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, so, Dr. Gray comes in with the uh, Jade Spear. He goes in for a clean stab, and you say, and you bring up the blocking. And Ari smiles and thanks you. As he flips around, dodging the little bitch. Okay, next up, I'm just going to make a slew of rolls before we get back to the top of the order because we have too much to do and not enough time. All right, flash roll. I apologize, everyone, for the sounds of keyboards. Uh, that's a miss. Flash roll. Do D8 plus four. That's a miss. And finally, roll 2d10, 2d8 plus 4 for our bunny boys. And the bunny boys miss. Uh, we are now at the top of the order. And you see another crack form in the foundation of the universe. Or an or. Um, and you see a young man of... Middle Eastern descent, climb out with a guitar on his back. It's Spiro. Get the fuck away from my girlfriend, you son of a bitch. Yes! Yes! Bro! Bro! Behind him, Bro! behind him, behind him, you see Emeka and Helen, who have both joined him crossing through the universe and seeing that you have been stabbed it's you've never seen this man more angry before <laughs> so yes dahlia um your high school boyfriend broke through time and space for you for you the all men out there step it up 
for her to do is, is to faint. Like you've given me no <laughs> choice. Roll charisma. Roll charisma. No. <laughs> Ten. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna say it's a stage faint. You fall and you make the S shape, but you're you're. I'm falling, but I'm hoping he'll catch me. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm gonna roll to see if he does. I'm gonna roll his uh, dexterity to see if he does. Uh, nope. Nope. He does not. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, tracks. He was trying really hard to look cool right then. He wasn't expecting the fainting. Tracks. This tracks. No, it tracks. Oh, and Dolly did not expect anything else. <laughs> Look at this halfway. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm like, uh, okay, come on. Yep. So, uh, because of that, you now have Spiro, Emeka, and Helen. They are going to be going last in the initiative orc. Oh, wait, no. They are going to be going before Morpheus and Loki, the buddy boys, but they have joined you. Um, cool. I am giving you guys a lot of friends here. Okay. Uh, we go to the top of the order. Ari's going to take his... Uh, he's going to keep going after you, Dahlia, because, uh, well, you know... Dahlia's literally, like, laying on the ground in front of him. Oh, oh God. Uh, yep. This, Roll drama, me this drama queen. <laughs> you wouldn't... Attack a defenseless theater kid, would you? <laughs> he doesn't even blink. The sword is going at you. Roll your defense. <laughs> okay. Ouch. Three. <laughs> oh, that one. We have rerolls, right? We have rerolls, right? <laughs> we do have rerolls. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Um, as he stands out. Overhead, flying with her divinity of Hermes, as we established last episode. <laughs> Gladys has some announcement for us. My favorite part about that is that Gladys is watching children get absolutely their ass beat. She's not involved. She's, she's not involved. Like... Because we... <laughs> ah, geez, it looks, looks real violent down there. Anyways, uh, good <laughs> afternoon. Uh, we've got some more announcements. Uh, this one, it says... Uh, uh, also consider joining the occult uh, club uh, once you you're out, out of the swirling void of nothingness. So uh, keep that in mind if you're looking for after school activities or some extra credit. Uh, that's from Monstrosity Jones. Uh, and we Mel Pamino says uh, the Welsh language club has one final message uh, to those that are left in North Point Academy. Uh, oh, no. Pay them out and. You guys are mean. And during gas, and different, and from mean. It from from rage, rage against the dying of the world. Hey, I hope I didn't say nothing uh, offensive with that. The good news is you used that mouth with your mother. The good news is we have hit. Over $150 in tips. Thank you all so much for that. Uh, because of that, full heals for everyone. So, Dahlia, the sword goes through your gut. He pulls it out. Oh, my God. That's I a lot pass of out for a bit. <laughs> you pass out for a bit, and then you don't. That's yeah. also for AP, too, yeah? Yeah, AP, HP, everything to max. As... Okay, cool. A soda bottle hits Ari Wait, no, at the side of the head. Who's throwing soda bottles? Throwing soda bottles. Uh, it is Justin Shock. And oh. he is joined by Mei Fun and many other kids, basically every other student. And they're rooting for you, they're cheering for you, and they are trying to help, even though they do not have powers. You all should get back. So it's just that scene from Spider-Man. You mess with him, you mess with all of New York. <laughs> Pretty much. So, yes. Uh, <laughs> he's just a kid. <laughs> he's just a boy. No older than my son. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, Manny and Lenny, it's your turn. I'm, I'm going to uh, try and hit him, and we'll see how, how poorly I do. 
So here we go. Uh, plus, that's only going to be a 12. We have re-rolls. We do have re-rolls. Uh, we have three left. Actually, no, we have more one. than three. Yeah, we've got uh, an abundance. Use yeah. one. Let Good me use time. one. I shall use one and hope for better results. It's the exact same. <laughs> I hate well. that. Ay, 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 ay. Well, I'm going to spend two AP to switch over to uh, Quetzalcoatl and produce my Sun Sphere of Knowledge. Uh which puts me at 13. And I'm going to roll with the Sun Sphere of Knowledge and see what hits, or if it hits. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, that'll hit. Yes. That is absolutely a hit. hit. All right. All right. Uh, roll your damage. Okay. Rocky, make sure you're using your plus twos. Yes. I am. Damage. I am. Uh, that will be uh, 11 damage. Uh, he will take two Jeez of that. Louise. <sighs> Again, like, Manny is just desperately trying to get him to leave Dahlia alone. <laughs> well, now it's Kwame and Dahlia's turn. I'm going to let you know he has less health than oh. many things you've killed. Oh, 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 the other part of the Sun Sphere of Knowledge is that when the spear strikes target and imparts on them knowledge so terrible, they begin to lose their mind. I got a counter with he's the literal devil. Okay, you know what? He knows <laughs> I'm going to give him I'm gonna give him a condition hot dog eight. He knows where hot dogs come from now, in detail. <laughs> Fine. Fair, fair. I listen. This is a serious finale, right? Yes. <laughs> I have a hell mary, but not really a hell mary. But I have a thought, and I'm going to say it in character. And Stephen, you let me know. Oh, I love this. I look over at a Nancy, and I say, "You are still the king of stories, right?" Always. Do you remember a story we told, I don't know, a season ago? I'm going to see if I still, and I believe I had four of them, because I think others broke. I believe I have Gap, Valak, Furfur, and Oribas. Yep. I think those are the ones I have. I might have Pymine, but I think the Pymine got broke. I want to see if we can be empowered. I want to spin the web so we, the four of us, can use a little bit of those Scarecrow's power to, to just help us in this moment. Not getting new keys or anything like that, but literally using the, the seven deadly sins or whatever they are. To, and I... It, Use them against that one. Rewrite their story so they're helping us, not hurting us. Okay. All right. As the person who was in charge of them. All right. All right. Oh my God. I'm going to play into your name real quick. I will allow it. But here's what I'm going to ask of you all. Or when you use it, I need you to lean into, a, lean into or declare a sin. And then I will tell you what dice to add. And you will add that dice to your okay. roll. Let me pull up a sin list. <laughs> uh, what do you want me to roll to make this happen? Make this be? Because I'm using. I'm not going to my... roll to make this happen. Oh shit! <laughs> it's going to be uh, your whole action, but I'm not going to make you roll for it. Valid. Um, a Nazi. I think, like I think we all know what me what uh, Dahlia would take if I think... lust, pride. Uh, okay. <laughs> but yes, uh, like a. A uh, card shark in Vegas, uh, Anansi whaps, warps his hand and reveals four scarecrows. Scarecrow keys. Exactly. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I wish I could. My, my <laughs> fan is over there. So, yes, uh, that is your action. Great. I will, ta I will take those. That's what I know. And I'll go, um, weird idea. 
Use these! And I'm, yeah. All right, you toss them into the air. Each of you can catch one. Uh, Dahlia, you can catch yours first and just tell me what you're doing and if you're leaning into a sin. Um, I'm absolutely going <laughs> to lean into the pride sin. <laughs> Like no shade, it is it is it is, it is the best. It part. is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, can I inflict? Can I inflict Ari with like self consciousness? I will. Where I go. I embody the pride, and he's just like I'm sharing a stage with someone who should be getting every Emmy possible. I can't perform under these conditions. I'm getting stage fright. <laughs> so you want to give him performance anxiety? Yes. <laughs> All right. I think that's fair. I want you to roll me charisma with a D12. All right. My charisma is a D12. Roll two D12 then. Uh, 18. That is absolutely going to work. He now has performance anxiety nine. Good damn. I'm imagining it as she's literally just doing the Defying Gravity lift in front of him, where Elphaba's just lifted like 20 feet above the stage, ah. and everyone else is like, No one mourns the wicked! <laughs> that was like my favorite musical in high school. How did I not know I was gay? Um, moving <laughs> along. Uh, Kim is going to go for it. Uh, let's see. She rolls. She gets a 14. Uh, oh, wait, no, this is this is Kim. Yes, yeah, so Kim rolls a 15 damage. She is going to roll. Ari rolls his defense. He blocks most of it. I am being far too kind to y'all. Don't be kind. Be mean. All right. In that case... Ari screams enough. And everyone's Well, no, let's gone. finish our keys. <laughs> actually, I changed my mind. Be nice to us. Right, actually, actually. <laughs> and like a proper anime finale, you are all separated from the people who love and support you. It is just the four of you. And there is nothing. There is no North Point Academy. There is Great no weird... Through. There is no weird fake school you don't have your boyfriend who broke through reality you don't have the god who is willing to kind of give it up just because they like you uh it is just the four of you okay how about a deal just take your gift back i don't need know why there needs to be a deal You, I'm not so concerned about. If you want to leave, I'm just going to let you leave. I have nothing to gain at this point. But two of you probably don't want to give up what I gave them so easy. I'm going to reach over and grab Lenny's hand. Um, honestly, um... You're kind of like a big downer. Um, I don't think like like I read it. We read a couple of books. Uh, well, call me read a bunch of books. Um, you're a liar and a cheater and like not a good person. Um, so I get excuse my language. Fuck you. And it was nice while it lasted. I love my mother, and I know that we did what we can. But this is built in lies. That is not what we need right now. So I will echo that with a, uh, how does Lenny and his brother? Uh, um, yeah, you're like an extra mega fuck you. Yeah, that's solid. That's, that's what I say. And in case you weren't it, sure, uh, I will also chime in with a, a, an additional, like, for serious fuck you. So, I I'm confused because it seems like there's four fuck yous here, no two fuck yeses. Um, did you feel math? How are you a principal? Oh, I think he thought it was opposite day, but that actually doesn't oh, exist. Yeah. Well, he is it's old. It's not pride week. 
Yeah, he's an he's an old man who's like confused or whatever because he's so old and senile. And throwing a temper tantrum because no one actually cares for him. So he had I to know. make an entire world just for people uh, to actually like him. Infuriated. He goes <laughs> to stab at you, Kwame. That is not correct. Uh, ignore that number. Uh, ah. He got an eight. That doesn't hit. In fact, he swings again. Still miss. Ignore that number. This man. Swings again. Oh, Still uh, a miss. I, you should probably next time remember to put a gift receipt in with your gift. Are you trying to hurt me? I've been hurt more in many different ways. This is this is kind of lackluster. Yeah. You you honestly, you hit like those those like fools at West Point. <laughs> oh wait. Is the story you thought you were telling ending for you? Do you no longer have power? No. You were never actually no. hitting no. us. No, no. Oh, yeah. I think what you need to realize, Ari, is you can create whatever realities you want. And you can give whatever gifts you want to people. But what they're going to appreciate the most is the people beside them, not the reality that you put them in. Yeah. Going and she's going to gonna enjoy, grab Manny's hand. They're going to enjoy the flowers that bloom during the springtime. They're going to enjoy the harmony and justice that exists around us when we need that hope. They're going to enjoy a light beer, even though none of us are old enough to drink it. And they're going to enjoy the stories that exist even when we are gone. What they don't, won't remember is the lie that tried to become real. Yeah. Listen, I, I, I get what you're like going through. Um, cause like, I'm also mad at my dad. Uh, cause he loves, uh, my brother more than me. Um, but like, I can't make him change. I can only like live my life. Nobody deserves to have any control over what happens to us, except for us. I will thank you for one thing, though. And he's going to kiss Lenny in front of him. The barrier he set up around you, this second bubble reality that he created thinking it could separate you from what mattered, falls. And even though it's not real, you are back in his first fake world that is falling apart and it is also dissolving and you see walls forming around Ari Scratch and the door of oblivion is rebuilding itself around him and as it does the sky begins to clear the world shifts and changes like waking up from a weird dream and soon the four of you are standing in the quad of North Point Academy in Oregon. The sky is bright. It is a beautiful spring day. Um, there are students walking through uh, and from a distance you see a white haired woman with purple eyes who is about your age, maybe a little older by a couple months. It's Kim and she is running towards you. Uh, and she's joined by a dark haired young Japanese woman who uh, looks like the world terrifies her and she loves it. And they, are joined by a gray-haired, older black man, and you see Spiro. He's with them as well, and so is Nick. And congratulations. You're back in the real world. Now, I'm going to ask all four of you, 
what's one thing you carry from the fake world into this? It can be anything, an idea, a person, an object. Because even if you live in denial, even if you live in something that's just not true, there's a nugget of truth there, and that will always be with you. I think Lenny reaches into his pocket and he's still got uh, the key to the apartment him and his brother shared. Uh, so he, he knows that out there some, there's a version of him and his brother that made a life for themselves outside, away from their father. I don't think Dahlia took something physical like Lenny did. Um, I don't think moving forward she will be trying out for any plays. I think she, she her her dream role is to be important in the people that are important to her as lives. And she just wants to improve everyone around her. Like a stagehand. <laughs> Nothing like a director. She would not go the director route. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fair enough. That scared her too much. <laughs> um, I think Manny decides to uh, look into some of the open like leadership positions for students for the coming school year. Um, they they consider maybe going going out for student council. Um, uh, they haven't decided what position they want, uh, but they they realizing that maybe they have the skills that it takes to like maybe be of service to the rest of the student body in a in a bigger way. I think. Oh, they also tell Nanako to go to therapy. Yes, <laughs> she absolutely does. <laughs> They made a promise, damn it. It's like, it's not even go, it's not even to go the romantic route, but I think he just looks at Lenny and there is something that they all went through and he, you, he's taking with him the memory that we could have had something good, better. But we chose what was right and we chose what was necessary and he's going to just take with him the hope that, you know, we'll see what the people we need to see again at some point. We'll, we'll have that, that happy ending. But that's a story for another day. And right now he's going to stay in this story. And that is the end of New Pantheon Academia. Thank you all so much for being part of this. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, thank all four of you. Thank you so much for playing. I couldn't have asked for a better table. I have loved every minute of this, even the parts where I'm being roasted. And I got roasted a lot. Uh, but I loved it. And I thank you all for being there with me. And for those watching, those listening, those in the chat, those just checking us out on YouTube, thank you for coming with us on this journey. This has been very, very fun. Um, I want to also send some love to Rookie Jet Studios for making over arms. Uh, it's very fun. It's a great system. It's available now on Drive Through RPG. Thank you, Dom Zook, for uh, running this channel. Um, I'm going to stop talking before I get emotional. My name is Stephen Pope. You can find me online at The Professional Hobbit on TikTok, only place I really go anymore. Um, check out Queers when it comes into publication. We're almost done, so yay. And uh, I'm going to throw it over to Eric before I get emotional. So uh, thanks. I just Before we end, I just want to say I'm really happy that in the end, it wasn't the gods 
that that won that for us. It was a bunch of teens bullying somebody, and that's the real power of this this show. Bullying is that, works. It's that every time we get into a real scramble, we just bully them until they give up, and that's I think that's the real message of this show. Uh, Teenagers are powerful, y'all. Yeah, you guys have powerful energy. They don't need gods. Honestly, I would never go up against a group of teens. No, no, God, no. Me no, no. Yeah, I can't believe that we literally just like talked shit at Satan the entire time. Yeah. He's yeah. like, I'm gonna oh, take you to a, a realm with no realm, and I'm gonna beat your ass. And we were like, Yeah, okay, sure, yeah, sure. little wow, man. Wow, original, <laughs> a dark void. We've never been to one of those. <laughs> uh, thank you all for for paying attention. I'm I'm Eric. Uh, you can find me mostly Eric on all the social medias. And uh, tonight, 7 30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you can find me on twitch.tv slash BNB Tabletop for the Board and Barrel, uh, the board game show I do with my friends. We're we're playing uh Arc Nova. We're building zoos. That sounds nice. Zoos? It's pretty cool. Uh, Pokemon Zoo. Yeah. Yeah. Let's throw it over to Aki. Hi everybody. I'm Aki. Uh, I have been Emancipation Brown. Uh, otherwise known as Manny. I loved playing them. I loved playing them with all of these wonderful people here at the table. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Genie in a Bottle. That's M-X-G-I-N-I-I-N-A-B-O-T-T-L-E. Uh, my schedule can be found over on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Hidari Aki. That's S-H-I-D-A-R-E-A-K-I. Tomorrow uh, at uh, 8 p.m., PT, you can catch me over at Scabby Rooster playing Total Party Kills. But before that, you can catch me over on the Norse Foundry channel playing some Among Us uh, for their charity drive that they're doing tomorrow. That's at, I believe, 2.30 PT. Um, so that should be a lot of fun. Um, and then, let's see, what else am I doing? Oh, I've got some fun stuff um, coming down the pipeline. Uh, a few shows that are on hiatus, a few shows that are starting up. Uh, I'll have more announcements for you soon. And let's throw it over to Mika. Hi, I'm Mika. It's been wonderful playing Thalia for all of you. Um, it's a little sad letting her go, but <laughs> I love Thalia so much. <laughs> I loved all of you. Um, but I, you can find me on any social media at RIP Mika. Um, tomorrow I'll be on Kolak, uh, not play, playing like the furthest thing from Dahlia possible. A very old, angry cowboy woman. <laughs> So I'll see you guys over there uh, at Fear HQ. And I'm not streaming this week because I have friends in town, but I stream most of the time and I put up YouTube videos. Um, I'm going to I'm going to freaking miss this. <laughs> Me too. And <laughs> Omega. Crew. Uh, I am Omega Jones, also known as a critical buyer, critical buyer across all social media channels. I have been Kawame Akinyemi. Uh, thank y'all so much for allowing me to join uh, midway through this campaign, uh, and and it's been a blast. I have absolutely adored Kwame. I've adored adored the the story that's been told. I do. I have to give a good quick shout out to Eric because we've talked about it before. I don't do romance in TTRPGs. I just don't. It's not that I'm against it. I just don't because I have to have like a connection with that person. Not. That something's bonding, but you know, it's it's, it's you're sharing something. So it's I tough. Thank it's you. a tough, yeah. intimate thing between yeah. two people. I you super thank you for letting me have this moment. Yeah. yeah, it was very cool. You two uh, were very very sweet, and it was, it was really lovely to watch Lenny and Kwame's relationship blossom. Um, it was just it's very lovely. Yes. Yeah, it's very unexpected, and it was a pleasant unexpectation. Anywho, uh, you can catch me many places. Uh, I stream all the time. I'll be streaming some days. Um, I, I'm trying to stream every day. Uh, well, Monday and Tuesday, I might, I can't stream Wednesday. Monday and Tuesday, I'll be streaming. I'll be going to Momocon this weekend, next weekend, uh, in Atlanta. And so, so I won't really be active. Uh, I will say, excuse me, I will say, just look at my socials during June. I am doing too much. <laughs> I am happy about it, but I am doing too much. Do the most. Uh, so yeah, definitely check that out. Uh, and I think yeah, that's that's really it right now. Just just uh, thank y'all for enjoying the show. Uh, I think we've hinted at it once, but I'll say it again. I'll be the GM for a special one shot. Yeah. Um, and and that'll be great. That'll be great. 
<laughs> very much looking forward to it. Yes, we do have we we're not doing it next week. We all need a break. I need a break. Yeah. But we will be doing a talk back. So if you have questions or anything about the show, about uh, characters or anything, hit us up on Twitter, hit us up on Discord, uh, Patreon, wherever. We'll be answering those soon. We also have a one-shot Dungeons and Dragons campaign ran by a Nazi, which should be something special. Um, <gasps> and I want to send some love to Abrea Iyengar, Draconique, and uh, Kelly Mantle. Not Kelly Mantle, Kelly Nugent. Uh, for <laughs> shut up, shut up. Okay, I'm having a moment. I'm having feelings. <laughs> Kelly Nugent. Uh, everyone who has been on this show, thank you all so much. And I feel like that's the perfect way to end it with me fucking up and getting roasted. Let's <laughs> play our finale one last time, and we will see you again one day. Love you all. Bye. 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 Bye.